Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How are we doing, man? It's Anelli here. So I showed this swing from a different angle in a prior video when we were talking about Turn the barrel behind the ball, swing slightly up, working from under, not from over the top, being from the inside out. All the things we talk about in a lot of our videos. And then I found the full clip of it. And so I want to show you, again, go over really quickly. And if you're new to our channel, go and check out the other videos where we really go in depth. But one of my goals here, you know, one of my goals is to talk about the swing and why I think you know, some of the some of the thoughts in softball are incorrect, in my opinion. Um, and we do that in a lot of videos. I also want to, one of my things is I want to just show you really, really good swings so you guys can see players at a high level doing it. And so let's I'll play at regular speed here, or slow motion speed here, I should say. Let's show it one more time. Okay, so that ball's hit a mile. <laughs> and look where that pitch location is. That ball's up. Um, but... You can see all the things that we talk about in the swing are present here. So you're going to see as she gets ready to hit here, you're going to see her start to coil. So if you look at this white stripe right here, you can see as she picks up her foot, she's going to coil. She's going to start to get this back right pocket towards the pitcher right there. You can even see if you look at her rear knee, and her rear leg, you can see how her leg is getting turned back right there. So she's loading that rear leg. It's a really, really cool shot. You can see her getting her upper body coiled. All right, just watch her, her upper body. Look at her shoulders, how they slightly get coiled. So they go from pointing at the pitcher to pointing to this side of the pitcher. You can see her rear arm pulling back so elbow behind the hands her arms working back this way as she's picking up and striding into the ball you see her continue to watch she's pulling back pulling back pulling back pulling back pulling back pulling back now right as her foot's about to come into the ground you're going to see that she starts to tilt back so this is a really cool shot. You can see, you know, with a lot of, so many youth softball players, when they're about to swing, this shoulder just pulls hard this way, the back gets out here, and then cuts across. They work from over the top. And this ball, boom, gets dribbled to the third baseman. Watch as, you can see as her, this back leg, right, it's going to start to turn right here. And you can see how, well, you can see that white stripe starting to turn that way as that leg turns her. But the upper body isn't just pulling hard this way. It's working up and back more. So you have her leg turning like this and her upper body and the barrel going back this way. And that keeps you working from the inside. If this goes like this and this goes like this, the barrel goes out like that. And then the barrel follows the body, pulling hard to the left. And you'll swing and miss a lot. You'll be around the ball. You'll have slower bat speed. You won't have good spin on the ball. And you're going to hook everything. But you can see how this barrel's working from the inside. I love this swing. Who is this? Who is this hitter? I watch a lot of college softball because I love watching the really good hitters hit. And I love watching the really nice swings. But I don't even know who this is. But that is a nice swing right there. You can see that barrel getting turned behind the ball. Again, here's the ball working up in the zone. All right, so this is the thing I hear all the time. You know, people will say, but Matt, look at 
the ball's being pitched from down here and it's coming up like that. You've got to swing down through that ball. You've got to get over, get on top of it. Right? That's what I hear a lot. Get on top of that ball. Well, she isn't getting on top of it. She actually might hit this and people, you know, uh, an announcer or something like that. Look at how she got on top of that high pitch right there. She didn't get on top of it. She still worked from under. That barrel's working slightly up through the ball. And again, this swing isn't just, sometimes people say, well, oh, this is just for a home run swing. It's not just for a home run swing. This is to create bat speed and to create better path. And to create better quickness. But also, when you strike the ball, you're going to be able to, you're going to be behind the ball. You're going to be able to get the ball in the air more. When I say in the air more, I mean line drives, right? Not roll over ground balls. Not hitting the ball to where it bounces six feet in front of the plate or three feet in front of the plate or down on the plate. All right? You can see that lead arm working up right there. Everything about this swing is just so nice. Let me play it a couple more times for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions. Go check out our other videos. We go really in-depth on the swing. And that's all we got. We'll talk to you later.